All right, welcome back to more of Psycho Quest. I made some good progress in the last part. And good, I just started the volcano, so I can just resume right where I left off. Okay, so this wall here, you actually need the hook shot. Container door collection. And a lot of this stuff we actually can't do yet. We actually need a. What you get from level 7 to actually get most of these items. get some of this now. <laughs> well, no need to buy the blue charge ring. Just get the red one for free. Yeah, you charge up really fast with that. Okay, this is Super Quake. Uh, this actually can be pretty handy later on. Because uh, that, uh, the shock wave you generate from that pretty much can stun uh, most enemies. Okay, this screen, um... Uh, you actually need your fire boomerang to get rid of that wall. Might as well step into level 7 really quick. And actually remember to get enemy bait this time. Uh, luckily it doesn't take too long to get the item in this place. very convenient because you pretty much have to go by the start of the level anyway, so I can save myself some trouble. Just enough money because I still have a lot of spare cash nearby. And get that power glove, basically. And we actually have wall masters. I think that is, is. I'm trying to wonder if that's the only time we're gonna see them. Someone will just shock you to see. Masters. Pick up the uh, the wand. 
And again, it's very convenient because I have to go by the start of the level to get onto the main route, so you may as well just shortcut back. And I'm gonna uh, finish this place off later because the boss is a little easier when you have a, another item to help you. Okay, so you can actually open this up with a wand. Uh, that is a level 4 sword. Uh, but we don't have enough hearts. I think you need 18 to get that. Man, I think this thing's already... That thing's already magic sword strength. And you can use the wand to get rid of those whiz robes. You know, pick up Din's fire. It's actually nice to have that um, for some crowd control. Pick up another heart piece. Actually, I have enough money now to get what I need. Uh, because you push this rock. Hey, more free money. Uh, 200 rupees right there. Yeah, I pretty much will need to buy this power glove to get most of the hidden items in the uh, the next area, the level 8 area. I pretty much just waste all my money there. Piece. Two full lines of hearts now. This shop has some really expensive stuff. Obviously not gonna be grinding for that much money. Okay, so this is the level 8 area. And this would be a very good place to grind for money because this was supposed to be snow. Uh, infinitely respawns, so you can just keep chopping away at it. Get plenty of money this way. And uh, actually, just to demonstrate this. See, you need to 
power glove to push this out of the way. And need that to get the giant wallet. one is a Red Wealth Medal. 75% off in the shops, which is very nice. This is a level 2 wand, and I can't get that yet. I think you need uh, something like 22 hearts to get that. Yeah, so practically every secret here, you're going to need the power glove to get this. Okay, that's just a hint uh, for level 8, and you know, you're gonna need the wand to open it. You notice your wand shoots like a fireball. Interesting. Okay. Uh, this one is a lot of money, and this person isn't kidding about getting the giant wallet first because. This is 500 rupees. That would fill up your small wallet from scratch. And actually, very conveniently, because I now I have the uh, red wealth medal, you see how much cheaper everything just became, because I think its base price is 900 rupees for each of these. So now it's only one quarter of the price. Yeah, so pick up hover boots first. And finally getting a magic ring. Might as well just go with the best one there is. Yeah, so pretty much use up my that entire 500 rupee thing. much stuff I need money for. There's still a few items to buy towards the end, but remember everything's already 75% off, so that makes things easier. Um, uh, again, level 7 I'm going to leave for later. I'm trying to think of what else there is to buy at this point. Now, uh, level 2 ball, I'm probably gonna skip because there is actually uh, something better than that. Yeah, 
thing I might actually take a look into another bonus dungeon. At least get part of it done. Uh, right now I actually can't complete this, but I can still get some goodies. Alright, so you notice this tree. I mean, you can pretty much slash it with just a wooden sword, I believe. And it gets you to this kind of back end passage. Now, you could enter this place right away, but really, there's no point. Uh, as there actually are. And this is not really level 10. And this is the only little bonus dungeon uh, with lots of goodies in it. Okay, so let's get started. At least we can do some of this right now. And kind of the main theme of this place is Gleox. You're going to be fighting a lot of Gleox here. And pretty much I think each of these uh, Gleox battles you're going to get at least a piece of heart. And this place has sort of checkpoints, so technically you're going to have to go through uh, all eight levels. Uh, to get to the end. And I haven't even touched level eight yet, so I can't really fully complete this place yet. So you already saw the level 1 checkpoint, which was the, the Gomas. And I just take this thing out. You know, man, handlers aren't really that big an issue anymore. Before you can get to each Gleok, there's going to be a checkpoint. So here's your step ladder. I mean, it doesn't look that difficult at first, but, you know, when, as you get towards the end, it starts getting pretty brutal. And uh, you're going to need better upgrades just to get through that in one piece. Alright, here's the level 3 checkpoint. I need flippers for that. I got a four-headed glee on it. Now we'll just keep going a little bit further. Make some more progress in this place. Four checkpoint, need the hammer to get through that. Okay, so now we got a four headed Gleox, so we were done with that. Now we start getting multiple Gleox. And I think this one is a four and a two. Pick up some more pieces of heart. Head on down first. Because this is another dead end uh, passage. Too intimidating anymore. Alright, 
here's your level 5 checkpoint with the blue gomas. So you need silver arrows for this. some sort of wall here. I, I guess there's supposed to be some sort of wall. It almost looks like I can hookshot over that. I mean, I can jump with the hover boots. I think there was intending to be a wall there. Probably like a half dozen Aquamentus. And that's pretty much useless because I already have a red potion. So that's not gonna do me any good anymore. Might as well just do as much damage from the doorway. not that hard to get the manhandla from the back end like that because they move so fast. Yeah, higher chances for just running the sword beams. Okay, I'm not gonna go any further because it gets pretty bad from here on out. Uh, not, not just the Gleok room, but some of the rooms in between. Yeah, so we'll finish this place off at a uh, when I make a second pass through here. I'm trying to think where else I can really go at this point. I might just go back to level 6 uh, for the next part so I can finish it off. Oh, while I'm here, I might as well just buy some enemy bait. Actually, I think you do need more enemy bait. <laughs> yeah, so might as well get that out of the way right now. I know there's more free money around here, but I'm trying to think what else there is to buy. I'm gonna pick up a hundred rupees right there. There's more money in some of these dead ends. Uh, probably just get some of that later, because I don't think I need that much money right now. There's a lot of stuff I don't need to buy anymore. I already have upgraded versions or something. Uh, 
but this one's kind of out of the way, so we'll just pick this one up. And a free 150 rupees right there. And pick up another 20 rupees in there. Just a little extra donation. So again, this shop, um, <clears throat> uh, the bomb bag I'm not going to buy because I'm actually pretty close to getting a better bomb bag. Uh, I already have a level 2 charge ring, and this one, you know, may as well buy it, it's, it's just there. I'm pretty much never going to use it. And it drains a lot of magic, uh, yeah, that's really not worth using. Unless there's something I'm missing at how strong this thing is, but traditionally that only does white sword damage. And if it's draining my magic like that, I mean, uh. Just gonna pass up that uh, using the cane. I can actually buy this stuff and you know, buy the uh, level 2 lens. So I think the level 1 lens uses like a quarter jar, so it's like, I think that's 8 magic points per frame. I think this one only uses 2. So now I can use it a lot longer because, well, it's 1 point now because I've double magic. And I might as well buy the peril ring, you know, that's just lair. I'm trying to think if we need any more super bombs, to be honest. I don't think you do. Even though they're pretty much dirt cheap at this point. Probably just buy a couple of extras. I know you need one, but you're actually given one nearby. So I'll just keep a couple extras there. I'll pretty much head back towards level six. Okay, now here, again, the level 2 boy might skip. And you'll see why as you get, if you get closer to the end. Um, I'm probably going to need more than 30 arrows. So... Uh, 60 should be enough for me. Yeah, there is, I know there is a 99 quiver, but... I'm gonna pass that up for uh, reasons, as you'll see. You know, again, you get towards the end. So, I made some very good progress. Uh, next part. 
you know, he should be able to finish off level 6. And uh, again, 7, I'm going to leave alone for now. Probably just skip over to level 8. At least start that place out. Alright, see you guys later.